Welcome for Coffee with Simple Gospel, channel where we talk, where we listen, where we walk. Today I would like to share with you about a very important part of our life with Christ, life in God's kingdom. It's called Holy Spirit. And there are a few attributes to the Holy Spirit which I would like to talk with you about it. So let's go for it now. Let's start with number one. I am leaving you with the gift, peace of mind, in John 14, 27. You know, life comes with surprises. Some of them you welcome, and some of them you don't. One summer you take a trip to the beach, next summer the beach is covered with oil. One month your stocks are soaring and your investments are growing, then suddenly it all comes crashing down. And then the brands you thought were running the system sit at session of parliament and say, we just never anticipated this big trouble. And in those rare seasons, when you think the world has settled down, watch out. Malign cell shows up in the column or cyclone rip through our neighborhood, fluttering the houses. So what are you going to do? When Jesus told his disciples he was leaving them, they were in panic mode. So he said to them in John 14, 26, When the Father sends the Advocate as my representative, that is, the Holy Spirit, he will teach you everything and will remind you of everything I have told you. I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give you is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. You need to recognize the presence of the Holy Spirit who lives within you and build a relationship with Him. He's not it or thing or an ethereal spirit that's beyond your reach. He is Christ's representative. He is willing to teach you what you don't know and to remind you of the things you so easily forget. And best of all, He will give you peace of mind and heart, regardless of what life throws at you. Second view, He will give you another counselor. John 14, 16. In the Bible, Solomon lists 28 different seasons in life. And let's go through all of them. Here are they in Ecclesiastes 3, 2 to 8. Time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant and time to harvest, a time to kill and time to heal, a time to tear down and time to build up, a time to cry and time to laugh, a time to grieve and time to dance, a time to scatter stones and time to gather stones, a time to embrace and time to turn away, a time to search and time to stop searching, time to keep and time to throw away, a time to turn and time to be mend, time to be quiet and time to speak, a time to love and time to hate, a time for war and time for peace. God determines each of your life seasons. The psalmist said in Psalm 31, 15, My times are in your hands. So what shall you do when you enter a new season of life? Reach for Holy Spirit's help because he is a counselor. Jesus told his disciples in John 14, 16, I will ask the Father and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever. When you need an advisor because you are not sure what to do or which way to go, the Holy Spirit is available to guide you. That means you must be sensitive when he highlights a particular scripture you are reading or plans a persistent thought or idea in your mind that won't go away or speaks to you through a friend. You are not alone unless you want to be. Just consult the counselor within you. The third view, the Holy Spirit, he, he will teach you everything in John 14, 26. As a departing teacher might introduce the pupils to his or her replacement, so Jesus introduces us 
to the Holy Spirit. And what a ringing endorsement he gives him. He calls the Holy Spirit his representative. The Holy Spirit within you comes in the name of the Christ with equal authority and identical power. How comforting it is to know that when you are entering a new season of life in which so many things will be different, this verse is translated in different ways. Let's go through some of those. In the New International Reader's Version, it says this, the word counselor is translated as friend. In the New King James uh, Version, it says he is called helper. In the Amplified Bible, he is referred to as intercessor, advocate, strengthener. In the original Greek, the Holy Spirit is referred to as a parakletos, a compound of two words, para, which means alongside of, and kletos, which means one who is desi designated to you. The Holy Spirit has been assigned to come alongside you and I. He's the presence of Jesus with and in us. Can you see how the disciples needed this encouragement? It is the evening before the crucifixion. By sunrise, they will all have abandoned him. Within 24 hours, he will be hanging on the cross. And their world will seem like it's being turned upside down, tore apart. But Jesus warned them to know, you will never face the future without my help and neither will you whether the journey leads he will be there by your side as the song goes and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me i am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever known fourth aspect of holy spirit these little troubles are getting us ready 2 Corinthians 4.17 Everything Jesus did for his followers, the Holy Spirit does for you. Jesus taught, the Holy Spirit teaches us. Jesus healed, the Holy Spirit heals us. Jesus comforted, the Holy Spirit comforts us. Jesus sends us into new seasons and he sends his counselor with us. Your journey in the company of the Holy Spirit is a promise from Christ. In fact, the very last promise he made to his disciples just before his ascension was in Matthew 28, 29. I am with you always to the end of the age. You know, when changes comes, embrace it. Don't resist it. Change is not only a part of life. It's a necessary part of God's strategy for your life to use us to change the world. He alters our assignments. Gideon, the farmer, become a general. Mary, the peasant girl, become the mother of Christ. Paul, the rabbi, become a world evangelist. God changed Joseph from a baby brother into Egyptian prince. He changed David from a shepherd to a king. Peter wanted to fish the Sea of Galilee. Christ called him to lead the first church. You know, God gives us our assignment. But what about painful changes that are hard to understand? It's like your time in the womb. You are being developed for a greater time outside the womb. Inside the womb, you had ultimate comfort and security. But only outside the womb could you fulfill God's purpose for your life. Your life in this world is simply that to prepare you for your life in the next one. That's why Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians 4, 17. These little troubles are getting us ready for an eternal glory that will make all our troubles seem like nothing. Eternal glory you can hardly imagine. Please, if you like what you see, smash the subscribe button, please. Then smash that bell and smash as well the thumb up it helps to grow this channel i need your help to keep growing and keep going and don't forget to write comments below it is important to know what do you think let me know please respond to those videos converse with me somehow 
at least by liking these videos. And before we go, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, could you pray with me a simple prayer of faith to invite Jesus into your life? Would you do that with me? Then let's pray. Just repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I confess my sins, past, present, and future, and ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control over my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. With my mouth I confess and in my heart I believe that you have died on the cross for my sins and after three days you rose again and set my life free to inherit eternal life with you. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayers. Guys, if you pray this prayer for the first time, welcome into this amazing kingdom of God and learn the way how you should live the better life. Easier? Definitely not. But the direction for the better, for the future, for eternity, definitely yes. I want to see you in the next video and hope that those videos are helping you. So until next time, bye.